What's going on, Gamer Section family? Welcome to the Gaming News Forecast. We are back after a hiatus, and it's been a while, I know, but we got some good news for you today. We're going to be talking about a lot of things that have happened recently, and with that being said, we're going to get right into it. All right, after a hiatus, we are back, and to kick things off, we will start with last week's events. We the Gamers received a Nintendo Direct, and the Sony State of Play. Starting with Nintendo, it seems to be remake and remaster season for them as they showcase quite a few old school gems. Although no date was revealed, updated visuals were shown off for Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Dropping February 16, 2024, Mario vs. Donkey Kong will be releasing. The original was a Game Boy Advance game that debuted back in 2004. Accompanying these two, Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3 were announced, and even a version of Luigi Mansion 2, all HD, by the way. Now, I'm not sure if this is kind of hinting at the, you know, end cycle of the current Switch, since the rumors of the new Switch are, you know, stirring around. But it seems like they didn't want to go too hard, and it kind of seems like they're holding back for what's to come. Because we also got, you know, the Super Mario RPG, Prince of Persia, and Princess Peach Showtime trailers as well. Now moving along, on the Sony side of things, they opened up with quite the intriguing trailer for a game called Baby Steps. I'm not sure if I will play it or get into it, but it appears to be a walking simulator of sorts. It seems to have some comedic value to it, but it doesn't really look like something I personally will play. It's more of a niche game. So, I mean, hey, pick it up whenever it drops, if that's what you're into. A little VR was shown off in the form of Ghostbusters and also Resident Evil 4. Speaking of which, they also announced the Separate Ways DLC, which fans have been waiting for. By the time you see this video, it should be out. So if you played it, drop a comment and let us know what you think. Some gameplay for Helldivers 2 was shown off, a look at Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, an expanded look at Spider-Man 2's New York City, in addition to a variety of the mini suits of the Spider-Men. They close it out with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. In other news, there was recently a massive leak from Xbox. Their plans for the next five years have been made public. Documents were uploaded that outline possible upcoming refreshes for the Series X and S. Some remasters of popular Bethesda games, an upgrade for Red Dead Redemption 2, and a new console to be released in 2028. Now, finally, after all this time, it also looks as if the Microsoft Activision deal is going to go through and is set to close in October. And it's been a long time coming, to be honest with you. I'm not sure, well, we know what the holdup was initially, but I didn't dig too much into it to see what made them change their mind and to get this going, finally, because it's been a long time coming. Moving on, in less than three weeks, Starfield has hit 10 million players. Looks like a good start to one of Xbox's biggest games this year. I personally have not played it, but I have heard many great things about it. So, if Starfield is your type of game, and you want to customize and do all this expansive stuff i'll say check it out but i'm pretty sure anybody that's on xbox has already all right now moving along mortal kombat 1 has had a fairly good launch worldwide the series has been received well on most platforms but it's being met with bad reception for the switch version this port is played with bad graphics frame rate drops bugs and extreme low times 
On the day of launch, Mortal Kombat 1 peaked at 38,129 concurrent users on Steam. Ascendant Studios, if you didn't know, is the studio behind Immortals of Avium, has laid off nearly half its staff. The news was confirmed by the CEO, Brett Robbins. This layoff came about due to poor sales from the recently released title. CEO Brett Robbins says it was a difficult but necessary decision and was necessary to keep the studio open. All right, now moving on. Thanks to Capcom Showcase at Tokyo Game Show, we got a look at Apollo Justice Ace Attorney the Trilogy, and it has a release date for January 25th, 2024. Capcom announced it during its broadcast. This collection includes Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, Dual Destinies, and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, Spirit of Justice. Expected improved HD resolution, smoother animations, all presented in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Exoprimal gets an update due out October 18th. It adds a new final mission type, map, and gear for the online team-based action game. Capcom also showed off its Monster Hunter mobile game now will be receiving an AR function, which lets players take pictures with their favorite monsters in the world. The first update for the mobile game was confirmed for December and includes new weapon types and monsters. Meanwhile, March 2024, will mark 20 years since the launch of the first Monster Hunter title in Japan. Street Fighter 6 fans will be happy to know that Aki arrives on September 27th. She's an understudy of Fang from Street Fighter 5 and uses poisonous projectiles and claw attacks to take down her opponents. She'll also show up in the World Tour mode in which you can gain her moveset. Aki will have Outfit 1, Colors 3 through 10 available at release for owners of the Year 1 Character Pass, Deluxe Edition, or Ultimate Edition. Outfit 2 will be released for Ultimate Edition owners as well. Keeping on with Street Fighter 6, starting on November 1st, a new rank called Legend will be added to rank matches. Legend is a special rank given to the top 500 players within the Master League. Anyone achieving Legend Rank by the time the phase is finished get a special in-game title. The training mode is getting new features as well, including more detailed options for training mode shortcut settings, reversal settings, a frame meter, recording settings, and more. Although there's no release date yet, we got a look at Dragon's Dogma 2. The roughly 10-minute overview included an explanation of the Pawn AI companions some of the available locations, and the two nations players will explore throughout their journey. All right, now that about sums it up for this week's gaming news forecast. Once again, as always, I am Retro. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell where you can catch all the great gaming news on the gamer section.